Let's talk about the three major events which are black swan, grey swan and white swan events. Nothing to do with the swan but yes definitely to do with certain events that occur. Now black swan is an event which is characterized by three important things. First, it is highly unpredictable. You cannot predict what is going to happen next. Then second is it is extremely massive and the third is after the event has happened, you might give an explanation talking about that it was more predictable and less random than what we actually thought about. But yes, if we look onto a normal probability curve distribution, this black swan event is nowhere on this normal probability distribution. But yes, it has certain extremes which spike up like anything and that is what makes it unpredictable and massive. So what happened was back in 2007, Nassim Nicholas Taleb brought about this term for the first time in his book, The Black Swan, The Impact of Highly Improbables. And that was a leading benchmark to the 2008 financial crisis that happened. This was the time when there was a sudden financial crash in US housing market. This was the time when you had hyperinflation that was registered in Zimbabwe. Again, before that, if we see, in 2001, there was dot-com bubble. And this dot-com bubble was a time when there was investment funds flowing into tech companies, which were eventually hit hard later on. And those are the kind of events which are registered under Black Swan. So three important characteristics. It's an outlier. Nothing in the past has happened similar to it. It is massive. It is unpredictable. It has an extreme impact onto the economy. There is a severity that is seen. There is false security that could be part of it. And something which could be rational could be explained only and only after that event has happened or collapsed. The next important event that we talk about is Grey Swan. Now, Grey Swan event is an event which is predictable. It is possible, but it is extremely significant. However, no significant steps are taken in order to prevent it. So the presence of happening of this event is known beforehand. For example, climate change. We know beforehand that there is global warming, climate change about to occur. It's extremely significant for all of us. But still, what would be the result is not likely to happen to the extreme that we might consider. So what is happening here is this gray swan event could be either positive or it could be negative. Again, there could be impacts which could be seen in the terms of increasing population pressure, uh, increasing debt, technological breakthrough. So all those are ingredients of we could say a gray swan event. After the fact the thing has happened, the focus shifts in a case of gray swan event and where does it go? It goes on to the errors that were taken in the cases of judgment. So let's say when we talk about climate change, might be after 20 years or so, we would realize that there was a judgment that was not correct and because of this, this has happened. So the errors in the judgment are tracked after the fact the event has occurred. The next important is white swan. White swan is something that is very certain. You enter into a college, you get admission. It's very certain that you would write an examination for the same. So that is what is a white swan event. Something which is almost, almost certain to happen. Since it is certain, it is highly predictable. And the impact of this can be easily estimated. Okay, the next important thing is again similar to a gray swan event only after the effect we can say there were errors in the judgment process. But when we say about white swan events, there are little implications that are seen and it can affect an individual, a group of population or the entire globe based on the extent it is there. But yes, these white swan events are very, very certain. Now, you might be surprised why we have brought this topic in this context today. This topic is really, really important for today because the extent to which coronavirus is growing, we are afraid or we are feared about the fact that might be it could turn out into a black swan event. So that is where we are trying to understand how economies will work, 
how the countries and the nations would behave for the same. We would be coming up with many such interesting topics. Stay subscribed. Have a wonderful day ahead.